Hey, it's Chelsea. Welcome to a day in my life as an analytics solutions architect. I usually start off the day at around 8 a.m. I wake up, do all the normal face washing, and I'm just putting some light concealer. I usually wear a blazer on top. This is my go-to office outfit. Now I'm en route to the office. This is my friend Sonica. She just came back from her holidays, so we greeted each other. So I just got my matcha latte from downstairs. I usually go with uh, oat milk substitute and three pumps of vanilla syrup as an add-on. I have my protein bar, my banana from a fruit stand located outside of the Amazon spheres. And I usually play catch up with my friends early in the morning just to lighten the room up a little bit. So now I'm going to look through all my emails, look at the Slack messages, do some research for my customers before I hop into the call. And I'll be having a one-on-one -on -one with my manager next. So I also created a list of things that I want to update him on and what are my top three goals for this week. After aligning what this week's priorities are with my manager, we'll discuss if I have any blockers and how to escalate them, etc. I also spend a lot of time reading technical documentation before going into my customer meetings. I'll also attend office hour sessions with the service engineering team to stay up to date with future feature rollouts and fixes. So I usually take two to three hours from my day to do some deep work. This could entail designing an end-to-end -end analytics and machine learning reference architecture for a particular industry. It could be collaborating with my customers to do a technical workshop or prepare for an upcoming webinar. It could be working on a slide deck that I'll be presenting at a data and AI conference. So the work varies. That's why it gives me a lot of flexibility to harness my creativity in this job. After my customer meeting, I usually have a debrief session with my account manager or the account solutions architect just to make sure that we are all aligned on what the next steps will be. It's lunchtime. I head over to Nitro North to get some chicken teriyaki. It's 1.30 p.m. right now. We still have a couple more hours to go. So I usually have more internal things with my colleagues to unblock any tasks. And I could also take this time to process all the customer meetings that happened in the morning. So I can't stress how important it is to document everything because when you come back the next day, it's easier to continue where you left off. My night routine usually starts with reading a book. Today, my pick is Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty, and it is broken down into three different sections, mind, body, and soul. Mind speaks about the importance of developing a strong mental attitude. Body stresses the importance of taking care of our physical health. And soul, which teaches us how to develop deeper relationships, find purpose, and live a more meaningful life.